He died yelling and screaming and saying that he was poisoned. But the coroner said he had a brain aneurysm. And now his brother refuses to talk about it. This is what I'm saying, guys. You really have to be careful. Like, I saw that. These are some of the craziest conspiracy theories we're going to see if they are real or, uh, no, we're just going to figure out what they're saying. Where are the windows? Yeah, I'm, what? Where is this? Never seen a building look like. If this was his boot, then how? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back there. If this was his boot. Maybe, I, I don't know, mate, you know, shoes wear out. Shoes, shoes do wear, wear out. out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm sure he was in space for a long time. I'm not sure if that could be like a reason why, but that is very sus, mate. My mom and I were driving when I saw a glitch. Yes, I made her turn back around. What glitch? What? There's a what is that, bro? <laughs> what is she saying? I don't know, mate. That looks weird, though. I did just see something levitating. The guy that drives a snowplow get to work in the morning. If it's illegal to drink and drive, then why do you need your driver's license to buy alcohol? Why is it called a TV set? Whoa. You only get one. You don't know if these are bro, car, conspiracy theories. Something by ship, it's called cargo. Why is it called a building if it's already been built? If a man is speaking in the middle of the forest and there's no woman around to hear him, is he still wrong? Conspiracy theories, and I think I'm too blind. <laughs> Wait, what was that last one? If a woman around to hear him, it's already been built. If a man is speaking in the middle of the forest and there's no woman around to hear him, is he still wrong? Conspiracy theories. <laughs> That one is not cap. That's real. That's real. I've actually watched, seen this girl's TikTok before, and they're pretty interesting, so. Put shit inside here specifically designed to dry out our lips just so we can buy more chapstick. It's an endless cycle. All you know, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't disagree with that. I feel like that could definitely be possible. You know, like certain things, you know, like certain companies do do that, so. Gas, oil, and coal companies are putting all of their energy into stopping and hiding development in renewable energy because as soon as we make that switch they stop making money. this is stanley it Meyer. makes sense you know it, it, it does that runs on water i've seen this bro no water See, this, this trips me out this world. is why you gotta be so careful with what you invent what you bring to, to this pain, world because uh if the world wasn't dependent on gas anymore it's a lot deeper than uh change hands. since they couldn't buy the thing they sat there and tried to debunk them they claimed he was a fraud and all that while still trying to buy the patent our own government and foreign government started to harass him he said he feared for his life then guess what happened he went to a restaurant with his brother to meet some belgian investors and he died he died yelling and screaming and saying that he was poisoned but the coroner said he had a brain aneurysm and now his brother refuses to talk about it we also did a whole video on exposing the new world order. This is what I'm saying, guys. You really have to be careful. Like, I saw that. Like, you actually have to be careful. There's someone, someone watching this. I'm not even going to say too much. I'm scared for my safety now, bro. Okay, let's keep going. There is something terrifying going on in Chuck E. Cheese right now, and I'm going to explain it to you. Oh, you guys remember all the conspiracy theories. It's a game based around a restaurant that's pretty much like a Chuck E. Cheese, where the animatronics come to life and wreak havoc on all the guests there. But what if I told you this was possibly happening in real life right now? What? Just two days ago, five children have gone missing inside of a Chuck E. Cheese, and the parents reported a weird smell from the inside of the building. And then just like Five Nights at Freddy's, someone that worked the late night shift actually got killed after hours. Now these are all pretty weird, but here's the kicker right here. Check out this headline. Night shift workers from Chuck E. Cheese claim strange movement from animatronics post hours. So I don't know. What do you think about what? this? What? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? And I mean, with 2020 and everything going on, like, I wouldn't be shocked if it was real. Yeah, yeah mate, literally. If you've ever opened up a private browsing window, you've probably seen a little disclaimer somewhere informing you that private browsing won't prevent your internet service provider, or ISP, from tracking you. As a matter of fact, there's not much of anything that can prevent <laughs> ISP from... Nah, guys, the internet is way too big now to, to hide anything. Every, you can see everything. 
so recently, who's the real voice? The top product of Alexa is actually a popular celebrity's voice disguised as a robot. But who? Well, like I said, that's before, a cool Amazon's transition, the man. Biggest company in the world, which means they are number one. And some would even consider them the greatest of all time. And who else is known as the GOAT? Well, none other than Tom Brady. Yeah, mate. Uh, this is a, this is a troll. Tom Brady has won six Super Bowls. We're getting trolled. Of course, we can't forget that he's also married to international supermodel Giselle, so that's one extra ring. And, oh, hold on, guys. If we add these up, my math is correct. That's seven rings. Oh my gosh, and who has a song called Seven Rings? None other than pop music icon Ariana Grande. It is all making sense now. Alexa, who are you engaged to? Sadly, I recently broke off my engagement with comedian Pete Davidson. That's actually true. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Ratatouille conspiracy theory. Could the rat from Ratatouille actually be the one who's doing all of the cooking? In the movie, we're supposed to believe that Linguini is a master chef, but what if, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what if Reggie is actually doing all of the cooking? Throughout the movie, Linguini is always wearing this big hat. Trust. Kind of suspicious, right? And the rat's the always. The perfect size for Remy to hide under it. There's even a scene where we see the silhouette of what looks like a rat underneath Linguini's hat. So could it be true? Let me know what you guys think. It's been There's Remy all along, boys. Conspiracy theories of all time. No, this guy is a troll. I know. The Illuminati. Who's behind it? Area 51. Aliens? Who knows? So back in 2012, if you remember, the world was supposed to end. This is now, good quality on this, bro. End, but what if I told you it did? Well, yeah, obviously. Obviously, it didn't end. Universe. In 2012, scientists at CERN found the particle known as the Higgs boson. This is famously known as the God particle. Now, this particle was the one that Stephen Hawking said would destroy the whole universe if found. And well, they found it, experimented with it, and then created a black hole leading us to a different timeline. I think since 2012, me and you can agree the world has been a pretty odd place. For example, all the Mandela effects that have been happening. Like Curious George not having a tail, yet he's a monkey. But that's not the only proof. Another what? famous scientist, known as Terence McKenna, said the world wouldn't end in 2012, but a mass change of reality would take place. Microphones. Much like web computer microphones. That put shivers up my body, bro. Because like who really knows what is like what's going on with this world? Like who actually knows, mate? Like we're we're, not, we're never gonna know. That's the thing. You can always try and have beliefs and, and stuff, but we're never we're never gonna find out. Serious hackers like the NSA. If you really, really want to ensure your privacy, it's best to leave the smartphones behind too. Trust. If you're logged into Google while using the Google app, the search giant doesn't even need to check outside records to know where you are and so where you've been. They just need my email then. Independent cafe. You <laughs> might see a Starbucks ad pop up. A marketing tactic called geofencing. I get that all the time. Do you ever get that? You'll like say something. You'll even say it out loud. Like you won't even look it up. It won't even be a post on your phone. You'll say it out loud. And then you pop up your phone and then there's an ad for that thing. Trips me out. Comment down below which conspiracy theories you believe.